Morning everyone, so we are on day four now and uh, we've just set up, at, no we're not just set up, we're just um, packing up camp and uh, it's, oh, I don't know, oh, look how tired I look, flip me, that's a lack of sleep. <laughs> it's uh, certainly not the best way to um, get a good night's sleep or any beauty sleep, in fact in my case it's gone from beauty sleep to just sheer ugly sleep, look at that, wow. It's a good job I married a beauty therapist, eh? <laughs> Jamie, on the other hand, is, um, he's struggling this morning. What's up, Jamie? I'm struggling to get a pattern in tight. <laughs> oh, man. Something wrong this morning. You've not had your coffee, that's why. That's it. You can't, that's you can't function. <laughs> I'm not sharp, I'm not focused. <laughs> Basically, we've camped up in a field and, uh, we want to be off. Um, this is the sort of camping that, uh, you, you, you do it. And you don't be, you're not an intrusion, you keep a low profile and you move on. Um, we're in the corner of a field. Um, the guy who was with us, the guy, the guy who was with us the first night and the second night also bumped into us on the third night. He was looking for somewhere to camp. He was trying B&Bs and stuff. And then he just thought, oh, I'll just push on. And um, we've, we're quite discreet where we are, actually. We hear this walking along the, f the fence and <laughs> there he is, it's John again. <laughs> But he's gone. He was gone 45 minutes ago. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're just um, setting up, uh, uh, packing up, and we're going to have, like, coffee. Um, it's so early, and our feet are absolutely killing. Jamie's as well. So going to take some paracetamol, get some miles in, because we need to smash it today. And, yet yeah, we've started with feet that are killing. Um, and then we'll have uh, some breakfast. <clears throat> All right, okay, so we are um, just stopped at a place called Morton not Morton Hampstead, um, Morton Bishop, and um, there's a really nice little shop uh, that's just another of those like little community post office type shops that have sausage rolls. Look at that! Oh my head! Oh, oh yeah! No. <laughs> oh yeah! Jamie just uh, relishing in the uh, the war wounds from day one. <laughs> Still looks like he's been beaten up by a little uh, leprechaun. <laughs> But this place, hot sausage rolls, like we had the first one, literally just out of the oven, two each. Mm. Ah, de croissants, de croissants, c'est très, très lovely. They are so good. And we've got coffee, and we've got Snickers and Coke, and she's even said that she's going to fill up our water for us. So it's absolutely perfect. So um, next stop will be Witheridge, uh, which is like seven miles away. And uh, they've got another store. So uh, if you're ever out doing these things, always make sure you stock up, because... We've now done five miles. We got five miles by nine o'clock in the morning. We don't have to worry about cooking breakfast, making coffee. It's all just done for us. So yeah, highly recommend that. Here we go, cows. One of the best things about walking through fields is cows. They look so scary, but look at them, the poor little things. They're so scared of us, but they're so cute. It's the smell, I think. It's the smell. It's <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> well, it's been so long. It's it's four been... days without a proper shower. That's why they're running away. That's why the lady gave us water. She's like, please, no, this isn't for you. This isn't for your water bottles. This is for you. <laughs> Splashes it on us. Hey, everyone. So we are um, approaching 12 miles now. And uh, it's just gone one o'clock. And over there... We've just hit this lovely, lovely point. I think it might be the highest point before we get to Exmoor now. But uh, over there, we've got Witheridge, which we're going to go to. And then can you see those windmills over there? We're going to walk past them later. But Exmoor, do not really come out on this zoom. Must be a different mode. It's supposed to have a really good zoom. But um, Exmoor over there, but to the eye, you can actually see the lines on the moor. Whereas over there, I don't know if you can see that, but Dartmoor... It's just a faint haze in the distance. So I'm just having a little quick sit down whilst Jamie goes for a wee, fills his water up. We're going to pop into Witheridge. Uh, my feet are absolutely killing me. Um, we've, um, I've not um, sorted my feet out today other than um, letting them air when we had the last stop. So we're going to get to Witheridge, stock up on some water. I'm going to take my shoes off and just uh, put some Vaseline on them, I think, just to smooth things over. But yeah, it's still going well. Hi, everyone. So we've made it to Witheridge. Um, there we are, we're popping some pills. <laughs> popping the ibuprofen. They helped so much this morning. I'm going to take a few more. Um, it's, been, um, it's been a little bit tough on the old feet um, since then. The ibuprofen's worn off and... Um, 
God, my feet are just absolutely sw like swollen. I can feel them just pulsing. <laughs> like the veins are popping out. <laughs> but um, otherwise, it's all good. Um, we've met some sort of friendly people along the way and uh, we've stopped here. We've got some water crisps and other bits and bobs. And the great thing is, I just tried this. Wait for the tractor to go by. <laughs> Um, I actually just walked around with my socks on. I took my trainers off and just, it was like a massage on the feet. Like you'd never think, you'd never think. <laughs> Three tractors in one. <laughs> it's like, Rob's recording, go, go, go. <laughs> yeah, um, what was I saying? Socks, no. Well, you might as well be involved as well. <laughs> There's a convoy. There's a convoy. Houston, we got a convoy. <laughs> so I just walked around in my socks, but it felt so nice. It's like a massage every time you put your foot down. So um, I don't know if you've ever seen the film Die Hard, but at the very beginning, where Bruce Willis is, um, he's like, I'm afraid of planes and flying. And the guy next to him says, Well, just curl your feet up into balls on the carpet. And he goes, It works. It works at the end of it. So, I don't know, maybe it has the same effect. <laughs> hey everyone, so we have now passed, oh, we're about to come up to 17 miles. And um, so in a day, we're about to come to the place that I camped on my first night of the second round of the Two Moors Way. And then we're gonna do 10 more miles from there. So um, we've, oh, we've been absolutely steaming it, Jamie. Um, like up this hill, Jamie is just on a roll. He gets food in him and then he's like, choo-choo, choo-choo train, you know, like go oh, full steam ahead. It's amazing, look at him. Look at him! Amazing, he's just admiring the roundy things. <laughs> so those windmills over there, we um, saw them, was it yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, we saw them yesterday and um, uh, I, spotted, I pointed them out to him. I said, look, we're going to be passing them at some point. And they were just, he couldn't even see it. Couldn't see them, they were Yeah. He's get his eyesight sorted, <laughs> and uh, we won't go into his age, don't worry. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, he couldn't see it, and it was just one sticking out. And now we are the other side of them. They're about to become a piece of our history, a piece of the past. <laughs> I can't believe we're walking past them. I know. They looked so far away. Yeah, and now you can literally, you can see the birds like, trying to fly through them. <laughs> Splat. Yeah, <laughs> but Exmoor, let's just turn this camera around. There we go. So Exmoor is literally just there. Let's try that zoom again. Can you see it there, that, that hill on the horizon? That's uh, the, where we're going. And I think we're gonna get there today. If we do another 10 miles, those will be behind us and those will be there. But I have to say, my feet um, situation, if you do get um, like blisters or anything like that, I'm on three, obviously you've got to take this for yourselves, but I'm on uh, basically on three ibuprofen and two paracetamol every, what is it, like four hours or something, yeah. um, uh, which is just helping helping to keep me going. And uh, Jamie, he seems to notice when they kick in. <laughs> for some time we were walking along and he was like, right, we can just be quiet. We can just be quiet, of course, you know, because I, I waffle. And um, so we're like, okay. And I'm just there like, uh, uh, every step. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happens? And then your mouth opens. Right? Mouth and opens. the parents eat was kicking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jamie was going up this hill and um he, he was just talking about was it Apocalypse Now? Yeah. Some film. And um we were we were just going he just talked the whole time. Absolutely just talked the whole time. Now Jamie doesn't often talk going uphill. <laughs> but he's like he's absolutely on one, get some food in him. I've had so much Coca-Cola and Snickers. His insides, I tell you what, are going to be an absolute mess. <laughs> but yeah, he's been going for it. And um, so the advice, I, su resume. I suppose the takeaway is eat shed loads of food <laughs> whenever you can. Drink tons of Coca-Cola <laughs> and lots of coffee <laughs> and uh, take lots of paracetamol and ibuprofen when it hurts. <laughs> okay, so I just want to point out that the excuse for my hair being this spiky and weird is because of those lines. <laughs> Can you hear that? Well, maybe if I zoom in. See them? They're buzzing. And that is why my hair is so bad, I swear. 
It's shocking, oh, isn't it? Hi there, everyone. So um, we have just um, passed, uh, where have we passed? You're at Parched Drums Farm, Yo Mill. I tell you what, let's just, in can I introduce you <laughs> yes, to, um, if you'd like to introduce yourself. <laughs> so I'm Banger and I live at Parched Drums Farm. We farm here, but we also do B&B. I'm right on the Two Moors Way. So we get lots of people staying. I've got um, people staying at the moment who are walking a bit further tomorrow. And basically accommodation all year round. We farm, we have sheep, we have Aberdeen Anguses. Yes. We have lots of hay and haylage for horsey people and us. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and um, yeah, and do a bit of corn as well. So it's, it's all singing, all dancing. Absolutely. And we have, we've just passed mile 22 today and we are... Uh, we've not had a drink, okay? We've not had a drink <laughs> all the week since Monday, since Wembury. And do you know what? We we just literally just thought, let's let's see if we've got uh, a couple of cans. And what have we got? We've got a couple of cans of Thatcher's. A doom bar. Look at Jamie. It's almost <laughs> as if he's in his element. The relief on his face <laughs> to get a beer. That is commitment. A week without any of that. So I'm having the Thatcher's gold. And um, yes. Uh, oh, Thatcher's gold. Exmoor gold. gold. Goodness. <laughs> Don't want to say anything like that. Around here. <laughs> Can you imagine? Thatcher's. That's Somerset, isn't it? <laughs> Somerset stuff. <laughs> it's near us, actually. Yeah, we are. We're Somerset. Yeah. But yeah, so um, this is pretty much the end of um, the day um, and we've had a chat with some people, it's been really nice. We've got a few more miles left to do. My blisters have just been so painful, but I'm, I've taken my second dose of ibuprofen. So that mixed with some of the beer or cider even <laughs> and um, uh, maybe a couple of sleeping tablets later. We've got another few miles left. Yeah, we're going to make it to Hawkridge. I think it's Hawkridge. Um, which has got um, just a place to pitch the tents, basically. So, yeah, so I will do one more little update there. But I really wanted to just sort of get this place in because this is the character of the Two Moors Way. Most people we pass know that it's the Two Moor Way. And, you know, you see some of the kindness. You see, I don't know, real human nature, um, the, the good side of human nature doing these things. Everyone's friendly. Um, when It's almost like a little hiking community, but anyway, we'll talk about that another time. But that's one of the reasons I love doing what I do. Okay, so we're climbing a hill, and the hill just won't stop. And it's going on, and on, and on. But it's okay, because at the top of the hill, there's always a top. And when we get to the top, goodness me, it's going to be down from all the way. And that's what we like to see. We're on our way to... A place to pitch the tent and it's got a river we've had an awesome time down at the bottom and on the way down to this hill we almost got electrocuted by pylons <laughs> nobody wants to be electrocuted by pylons we've had awesome chats about getting to the place that we're going to and and ah oh, this flipping walk is amazing it's been incredible like to I've walked, how many miles have we walked now? Like a hundred? Nearly a hundred miles is insane. But look at this guy. Guy is a flipping machine. It's like a steam train, never runs out, it just goes. <sighs> hey everyone, so we are officially on Exmoor. And look, look what we've been treated to. Oh, what a sunset. And also, there is the other side of the thing, the stone thing with all the holes in. It's absolutely freaking awesome. So that means we've just passed a sign that says we have only got, I've got to run, got to catch up Jimmy. We've only got 24 miles to get to Limmer. Now I told Jamie, well I don't know if you heard any of that because I had my finger on the thing, but I told Jamie that that means we would have something like 27 miles to do tomorrow. But actually, Every mile we do now makes it easier tomorrow. Yes! And that is how it's done.